Thanks for watching Shotoku Tech. Please subscribe, share, and like. Thank you very much. So a friend of mine told me I needed to check out True Key as a password manager on my mobile phone. I did that video, key pass to Android, check it out. But he said I tested the wrong one. So here we go. We're going to test out some True Key. It's from McAfee. Basically, you have to set up an account. I already have, so I'm signing in for the third time. This is my third attempt at using this program. Okay, we're signing in. Trusting this device. I'm going to test out Yahoo. One of the things I found is the browser in TrueKey was real slow. Getting prompted to switch on a few things here. And we do switch them on. Basically screen overwrite and enabling TrueKey as a keyboard. So it can log in for you. So let's see. We're going to go into Chrome. You can see this is my first time in Chrome. Because I just flattened this phone to test again. Kind of waiting for this true key to kick in, and uh, I'm looking back here. Where's true key? Going back in, trying again. Actually, I just deleted it because it didn't seem to be working. What I found was it worked really well for apps. We'll see it work in Twitter here. But I had a lot of problems getting true key, at least on my two different phones, to actually work well in the browser. Here you see it working on. Okay, so it got me into Twitter just fine. Then I looked all over inside Twitter and never found a place to where I could sign out of Twitter again. Trust me, that's outside the scope of this video, but we're going to go ahead and set up another website. Let's we'll set up... Yeah, it looks like I'm setting up my, one of my Octopi print servers. Yeah, that's what it is. This is just a simple username and password. Very simple website. It's a print server for 3D printers. Runs on Raspberry Pi. Now what I'm not seeing is TrueKey is supposed to pop up. Okay, so it's asking me which account I want to log in with. I only have one set up in TrueKey. Now one of the frustrating things, you can't really tell from the video, but I keep hitting the little blue circle saying, yeah, put in my username, put in my password. I'm punching login again and again and again, and I keep getting this prompt, which account do you want to use to log in? Real frustrating at this point. I'm speeding up this video a lot, so now here I think I'm manually tapping the password in. I even typoed it, and it asked me to update the password in TrueKey. Still can't get in, still can't get in. So I go back into TrueKey. Uh, it does do facial recognition. That's a cool feature. If you can get TrueKey to work for you, this might be a program that you enjoy with facial recognition to unlock your password bank. I'm trying again. Just want to log into this simple Octopi website. My 3D print, print server. You can see the little blue circles, and I keep pushing the login button, just not getting anywhere. It was very frustrating. Seems to work well on apps, but it doesn't seem to work well on web. And that's whether it's Chrome or the browser that is inside TrueKey. TrueKey has its own browser. And it always, you get this stuff popping up, use this keyboard. Use the true key keyboard. Use this password. And you keep flipping back and forth between all these different interfaces. It was very cumbersome to me. Hey, maybe it's Android 6. Maybe it's Android 5. Maybe it's my LG Nexus 5. My LG Nexus 4. These are phones with 2 gigs of memory, 16 gigs of storage. They work fine on every one of my other apps. But this one just seems to not want to log me in. I don't know how I got in there. <laughs> I just logged out again. There, you saw my password. I mean, just to put that back in there. I think I'll get in. Let's see what happens. Oh. 
some point I accidentally get my password in the username so you can see my password and then it's in the list of available users. You see the other, all these screens keep flashing by. It's a lot of work just to get logged in in a simple website. The Twitter app it just went right in, no problem. Okay, well let's set up Yahoo email again. Let's see if we can get that to work. See, you get that true key login. Keep getting prompted for that true key auto login stuff popping up. And I keep hitting it. And I keep not getting what I need. I think eventually I get in here. But this is really frustrating for me. The key pass to Android lets you copy username, paste, copy password, paste. Everything works fine. Okay, so I actually opted to use the internal browser to true key. Let's see if it's going to get me in. Yeah, it looks like it's going to work. Okay, so it did let me log into Yahoo using the TrueKey browser built into TrueKey, but I could not get into Chrome. And again, there's just so many times this interface popping up saying, use the TrueKey auto login, and you keep clicking on it, then it doesn't do anything, then it flashes you the list of the passwords that are stored, and you select, click on one. I'm giving it one more try here. This was really 30 plus minutes of me wrestling with this application, trying to get to log into two different websites. And I sort of got in, but I also put my password in the clear in the video. By accidentally it pasted the password instead of the username. Don't ask me how. Okay, so I managed to get into Yahoo both times. Looks like I'm going to take another swipe at the Octopi, Octoprint, print server. See, it's so an Octo user. Oh, there's the true key thing. A couple of different things to pop up. Oh, got my password out in the clear now. Oh, for goodness sakes. Now I have to, yeah, more of that stuff popping up. Come on. Yeah, you can see that this is the kind of thing that would frustrate the heck out of me. I don't even know what I'm doing here now. Uh. <laughs> oh well, better luck next time. Hey, we made it. So I tested this three different times on two different phones. This is a LG Nexus 5, Android 601. And then this is the Nexus 4, Android 5.1.1. So leave a comment. Let me know if TrueKey works better for you than it does for me. Maybe I just need a new phone. But I'm going to stick with this KeyPass to Android. I just used it this morning to log into both of my banking apps without any hassle. Don't forget to check out this KeyPass to Android video. And also my ever popular Forget Your Passwords about the KeyPass desktop password manager. All right. Thank you very much.